go. We will pull that despot Dong Zhuo down. Your father's right. You have no thought for your back. What's that? Please, do not mind me. I was just asked by Lord Sun Jun to watch your back for him. That's all. I realize now why he thought it necessary. Yeah. Well, maybe from my father's point of view, I am wet behind the ears. He also gave you praise. He said you let nothing and no one deter you from your goal. All right. So what do they call you? Zhou Yu. I'm here to aid you, my friend. Wait a second! Father was one of those who fought for the Imperial Han. Sun Tse. When a tree dies, nature brings it back to the earth. And after its death, a young shoot will grow up from the remains. This too is nature. Hmm. So we are to throw away the shackles of the past. Under Master Sun Tse, we will give birth to a new land. Ha! Now I get it. I think Father might even be happy with that. All right, let's do it! It would seem that the first step is to use this Imperial Seal to borrow soldiers and arms from Yuan Shu. Oh! The Imperial Seal! Father picked that up from the Imperial City! Mm-hmm. Our late Lord left behind him a truly wonderful legacy. The sparkle of this seal will blind Yuan Shu's eyes and help to put the land in our control. Yes! Now the region of Wu is back in the hands of the Sun family! Thanks for your aid, Liu Bei. We would not have had this victory without your help. No. The thanks are mine. Together we pulled down the treasonous Yuan Shu. Well then, I hope we will meet again. If the Imperial Han have people like him around, then perhaps there is a bit of hope for them after all. Perhaps you trust in people a little too much, Sun Tse. He said, meet again. It's plain. In other words, you two are destined to fight against each other. Well, if that happens, it happens. And when it's over, I will have won. <laughs> you are right. You needn't worry. There is no one who can slow your momentum. Zhou Yu, tell me, what do you think about Cao Cao? I'm not sure why, but there is something about him that's strange. I just can't put my finger on it. I agree with you. However, I cannot identify that something either. I sense he has no desire for any riches, or even power, nor loyalty to the Emperor. Cao Cao. What is his viewpoint of all the chaos in our world? Huh. So neither of us can figure the guy out in any way. Not that it really matters, though. Who cares what he thinks about or what he knows? I just want to win! Yeah! <laughs> to move forward, even in the face of uncertainty, that is where your strength lies. Say, we must leave here. Cao Cao triumphed if Guan Duan will arrive soon. He just finished fighting, but he has too many men. We must pull back now. What are you saying? This battle is all but won! Why should we run away? We should stay and fight! Your blood's running too high. There's a difference between bravery and recklessness. I beg you, Sun Tse. You have a tendency to forget that. You are right. It's too dangerous to stay. All right! We've won the battle! Now we go! Sun 
soon say. We made an error. Maybe we should have tried to defeat Cao Cao back then. His fleet of ships. If they are not bluffing, then they have an exceptionally large force. Lord Zhou Yu's decision was not incorrect, I believe. I think it is possible we may win. Zhuge Liang, tell us your plan. For Wu and for Master Liu Bei, one thing can give them each their victory. Just one. Each victorious? Each? Does it really matter, Zhou Yu? If there's one path, we'll take it! <laughs> when you get that look on your face, it's hard to imagine losing. Then let us go. Let this great river burst forth with the waves of our wisdom. My lord, Liu Bei's forces have attacked and taken Cao Cao's position throughout Qing province. What's that? Zhuge Liang. Is this what you meant by giving each their victory? This is our victory. Liu Bei has a land from which we can grow. Until we conquer Yi in the west. To stay in Jing is the only thing possible. I understand what you mean. I suppose you deserve some credit for this plan. I will let you go in peace. Of course, with Cao Cao gone, there isn't really anyone else. Yes. There is no one left to fight except each other until we meet again. Goodbye, Zhou Yu. Yes. There is only one that I must fight. You, Master Zhuge Liang. Just you. Ah, Lu Xun. A speedy return. Cao Cao is defeated, and the Emperor in custody. Only Liu Bei remains. And yet, I don't believe he will be stopped very easily. Yes. You are correct. Wu does not fear Liu Bei's benevolence, or Guan Yu and Zhang Fei's strength of arms. Ah, but... Zhu Ge Liang... What is he up to? It is he who possesses the cunning that might undo us. But even then, we should try to avoid the inevitable. And, if it's someone you fear and respect, then you know to take every precaution. <laughs> Perhaps you as well are a person I should learn to give respect to and fear. win this battle, he'll have control of the land, won't he? Hmm. It's hard to imagine it. It's, well, improper. It's improper? Why is that? Picture him dressed up in Imperial clothes, sitting on the Imperial throne? <laughs> I'm sorry, but just thinking about it makes me want to laugh. A good point. Perhaps you are right about that. But still, it would be really nice. If brother ruled all the land? Let's make it happen. We just have to win. Soon say, have you thought of the future? Can you see one where you remain yourself? Soon say. What will you do now? Huh? I know that look. You have taken about all that you are able to, haven't you? You are not the type that can be happy behind the iron bars of a gilded cage. Haha! <laughs> you can say that again. I'd get bored pretty quickly, wouldn't I? Quan! I officially leave the running of this land to you! What? What do you mean? There must be somewhere worth going. A place where something interesting is going on. 
Right, Zhou Yu? Yes. Let us go, Sun Sei. Together, to the ends of the earth. <laughs> <laughs>